Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Eighth grade, unit four, lesson 13, solving systems of equations. Problem number one, A, write equations for the lines shown. Let's start with a black line first. In order to write an equation for this line, we need to find the y-intercept and we need to find the slope. It looks like this black line goes through the y-axis right at positive 2. So the y-intercept is positive 2. And if we were to go up 3 units and to the right 1 unit, we can identify the slope. So the slope is 3 over 1 and the y-intercept is 2. The equation is y equals 3x plus 2. Now let's take a look at the blue line. It looks like the blue line intersects the y-axis at 8, and the slope is down 3 and to the right 1. So it has a negative 3 slope and a y-intercept of 8. The equation for the blue line is y equals negative 3x plus 8. B. Describe how to find the solution to the corresponding system by looking at the graph. The solution is the point where the two lines cross. The solution for the system is the point 1 and 5 where the lines meet. C. Describe how to find the solution to the corresponding system by using the equations. Since the two equations are equal to each other, Set the two expressions to equal each other and solve for x. After you find the value of x, plug it into one of the original equations and solve for y. Problem number two. The solution to a system of equations is the ordered pair 5 and negative 19. Choose two equations that might make up the system. The 5 is the x value and the negative 19 is the y value. So we can plug in the value for x and plug in the value for y. Here I've substituted the y with the negative 19 and substituted the x with a 5. Negative 19 equals negative 3 times 5 minus 6. Or negative 19 equals negative 15 minus 6. Negative 19 does not equal negative 21. This equation does not make up the system. B. Substitute the y with a negative 19 and substitute the x with a 5. Now the equation reads negative 19 equals 10 minus 23. And negative 19 does not equal negative 13. So this equation does not make up the system. C. Again, we're going to substitute the negative 19 for y and substitute 5 for x. Negative 19 equals negative 35 plus 16. Negative 19 equals negative 19. Yes, this equation does make up the system. D. Substitute y with negative 19 and x with 5. Negative 19 is not equal to negative 12. So no, D does not make up the system. E. Substitute the y with the negative 19 and substitute the x with a 5. Negative 19 equals negative 10 minus 9. Yes, negative 19 does equal negative 19. So E is an equation that makes up the system. Problem number 3. Solve the system of equations. y equals 4x minus 3 and y equals negative 2x plus 9. Make y equal to y. So now the expressions that are equal to y are equal to each other. Add 2x to both sides. 4x plus 2x is 6x, and negative 2x plus 2x cancels each other out. Add 3 to both sides. Negative 3 plus 3 cancels each other out, and 9 plus 3 is 12. Divide both sides by 6. 6x divided by 6 is x, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. x equals 2. Substitute the x with a 2, and you have y equals 4 times 2 minus 3. y equals 8 minus 3. y equals 5. 
So we know the value for y is 5, and the value for x is 2. So the solution for the system of equations is 2 and 5. Problem number 4. Solve the system of equations. y equals 5 fourth x minus 2, and y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 19. Let's make y equal y. Again, the expressions will equal one another. Add 1 fourth x to both sides. Add 2 to both sides. Multiply both sides by 4 sixths. And x equals 14. Substitute the x with the 14 and you have y equals negative 1 fourth times 14 plus 19. Y equals negative 14 fourths plus 19. That's equivalent to Y equals negative 7 halves plus 19 over 1. Since we're going to add these fractions, we need common denominators 19 times 2 and 1 times 2. Now the equation reads Y equals negative 7 halves plus 38 halves, which is equivalent to Y equals 31 halves. So Y equals 15 and a half. The solution for this system of equation is 14 and 15 and a half. Problem number five from eighth grade unit four, lesson six. Here is an equation. A. Solve the equation by using the distributive property first. Using the distributive property first, we can rewrite this equation. We have 15 times x and we have 15 times minus 3, so that's going to be a 15x minus 45, and that's over 5. And we have a 3 times 2x and a 3 times a negative 3. That's 6x minus 9. Now we need to multiply both sides by 5. Now the equation reads 15x minus 45 equals 30x minus 45. Next, we need to add 45 to both sides. That leaves us with 15x equals 30x. We have to subtract 30x from both sides, and we have negative 15x equals 0. Divide both sides by negative 15, and we have x equals 0. B. Solve the equation without using the distributive property. Multiply both sides by 5. Now the equation reads 15 times x minus 3 equals 15 times 2x minus 3. Divide both sides by 15. Now the equation reads x minus 3 equals 2x minus 3. Add 3 to both sides. And the equation reads x equals 2x. Subtract 2x from both sides, and we have negative 1x equals 0. Divide both sides by negative 1, and x equals 0. C. Check your solution. Substitute the x with a 0. 15 times 0 minus 3 over 5 equals 3 times 2 times 0 minus 3. Multiply both sides by 5. Now we have 15 times 0 minus 3 equals 15 times 2 times 0 minus 3. Divide both sides by 15. 0 minus 3 equals 2 times 0 minus 3. Negative 3 equals 0 minus 3. Yes, that's true. Negative 3 equals 0 minus 3. Therefore, the solution x equals 0 is correct. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.